Hello everyone, welcome back to the Minnal Keem series where we are preparing you for your Keem 2023 exams. And today I have brought for you a very important session, Top 10 Common Mistakes That You Can Do In Your Keem Maths Exam Specifically. Because when we have so many questions, so less time, then mistake chances become super duper high. And one mistake not just loses one negative mark it's like suppose you did you solved a question you counted it as four marks but then instead of four marks you got one negative mark so it's like a loss of total five marks just by one wrong question right we don't want that so let's 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 try to avoid all the mistakes that we tend to do in the exams and uh, let's utilize and give our best of this time. All right, guys. So, yeah, if you are new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe because every day we are bringing for you a Minnal Keem series where we are preparing for Keem exam with physics, chemistry, maths, complete revision, PYQs, practice, lots of formulas, study tips, exam tips, everything on this channel itself. So this is Sana Khan, your maths master teacher and let's see the mistakes we possibly can do in exam. Number one, poor time management. Well, this is one of the mistakes I have done at lots of time and I it resulted in like some of the biggest losses like of my life of exams of course so time management plays a very very important role i have told you so many times to follow abc strategy like do the question you are sure of then do the questions you are confused then do, do the question you want to just guess okay don't go like you are just stuck in a question you're thinking like i can't do it I, Sanam, I'm told the formula. I remember the formula. I can do it. So you just keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. That, oh my God. Previously, I was not able to do two questions. Now, at least the third question, I should be able to solve it. You spend five minutes on it. You spend six minutes on it. And then you don't realize that you have wasted the time to solve two more questions. So it's like you have wasted 10 more marks because of that question. And ultimately, you don't solve that question also. So poor time management can result in not being able to even touch the last few questions. Sometimes students leave 20, 30 questions. They don't even look at them. And maybe those 20, 30 questions are easy ones which you would have done easily. So don't be poor at time management. Keep a track of your time properly. Spend one, one and a half hour in solving all the questions that you know thoroughly. Spend next half an hour, 45 minutes in doing the questions which you are little confused of. Give only 15 minutes to guess the answer of the question which you don't know. Okay, not more than that, please. Okay, next is lack of practice can result in some big, big mistakes that you cannot think of. Do you know what and how See, suppose uh, we see a formula and we feel like, oh, wow, we can solve this. And uh, we don't practice it before exam, right? Suppose some trigonometric question is there. You solve it till the end. Now the end, you are getting, uh, let's say you are getting cos of minus pi plus uh, h. Now in the options, they have given you minus cos h. They have given you cos h. They have given you cos pi plus h. And you're like, yeah, I got this answer. It is not matching any of the answers. How will I know? So it is because you didn't practice it earlier. You didn't realize that sometimes your answers need to be converted into other formats also using other formulas also. So this can be written as cos of pi minus h which can be written as minus of cos h. So fr from this, you can get option A as the right answer. So practice is very important just to give you an idea that sometimes when you get stuck, when you don't know how to simplify, suppose you get log base E uh, root over E. Then you are like, I got this, but in the options, they don't have anything matching to this. They have minus one, minus one by two, minus E. 
which is the right answer because you don't know how to simplify log base e you didn't practice log questions that's why practice is very important otherwise you solved the entire question but you don't know the final answer how bad is that right we don't want that next not understanding the concepts and just memorizing the formulas and thinking you will be able to apply it big mistake you know tangent formula you know normal equation but you don't know the basic concept now once you don't know the basic concept again suppose a question comes like you have written the tangent formula you know how to find out the slope of the tangent and they give you the slope it's like uh, tan pi by 4 now in the options they ask you what is the slope of the normal and in the options it is given minus of cot pi by 4 now you're like yeah, i know the formula it is minus of dx by dy but you didn't realize the basic the basic is normal slope is inverse is reciprocal of tangent slope multiplied with minus sign so this and this are kind of same this is tangent this is normal so if you don't know the basics even if you know the formula you will not get the answer so know the basics of each and every formula don't think that just by memorizing the formula you you will be able to apply it the questions will be twisted sometimes they will give the slope they will ask abc so you should know every basic of it okay we have also seen application uh, in the limits we saw a question zero by zero format where they ask the value of a now if you don't know the basic that what is zero by zero format and what should be there like how should we solve it so you will never get the value of a right so such type of twisted questions come in keem exam so you should know the concepts okay next silly mistakes now silly mistakes and maths have a pakka relationship right now of course silly mistakes is something we can't avoid a uh, hundred percent but we can reduce it now how can you reduce it by learning from your past mistakes be the mouse don't chase the cheese okay now uh, if you learn from your past mistakes i have told this tip before also whenever you are practicing a question and you do mistake note it down this is one of my good practice i used to do in my school time my college time i used to note down my mistakes with red color big big block pen i used to write down my mistakes because before exam i always used to revise my mistakes that's an you can do mistake at this point don't repeat it and in the exam i never used to repeat it so that's how you can avoid the silly mistakes okay next inadequate revision now please don't think that you have done your class 12 you have done all the uh, lectures till now and maybe you are not following the minnal keem series thinking that sana ma'am has already taught this concept few days back she is again teaching it now what is the point of doing that because that is revision why we are doing the marathon series why we are doing the minnal keem series because it's important for revision maybe there is one concept one formula which you knew at that time but you have not you have forgotten now and if you don't revise it's gone it's no use so even your hard work is gone so revise properly every formula every shortcuts every mistakes that we have ever done till now okay next not knowing the exam pattern is again one of the biggest mistakes. now you you might be thinking that ma'am how is this possible everybody knows it is 120 questions 2.5 hours one physics chemistry paper one maths paper everybody knows that but i'm telling you more than 50 percent students don't know the format they don't even know how many options will be there. Four options will be there. Five options will be there. They don't even know it is objective or subjective. They don't know what is OMR filling. Yes, there are students existing in this world like that. But you should not be that person. If Even if you are somebody who does not know exam pattern, it's not late. Exam pattern is available for free on CUET website on our channel. OMR, shilling is, uh, OMR filling is there on our channel. Watch that video. Go watch the website and learn. You can easily do this. You can easily understand the exam pattern. And then you will not get confused while writing the exam. Okay. Next. Not paying attention to units in maths paper is the biggest silly mistake we do. 
I have told this earlier also, I am telling it again now. Suppose it is uh, the rate of change of area with respect to time is centimeter square per second. Rate of change of side is given meter per second. You don't see centimeter and meter, you directly solve. Absolute wrong answer with negative marking, your 5 marks gone. So basically, units, whenever you see units, you see centimeter, liter, inches, foot, always your mind should go into alert mode. That alert, please check all the units, they are same or not. Inch, 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 foot, 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 centimeter, 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 liter, liter, liter. Just check the entire question, then only you read the question. Okay, next. Overconfidence is again one of the biggest mistakes we do and that results in poor time management also. You know, sometimes when we start the paper, we are able to solve the questions. Somehow we tend to waste more time. When we are able to solve the question and we are like, oh, this also done, this also done, this also done. Then we start looking here and there or what we do, you know, we solve it like, at a normal play pace, then we start solving that. I am doing so good in the paper. That means I can solve it uh, in relaxed mode. But then what happens is, what happened to this girl here? So when you were looking and you were thinking and imagining, ki, wow, I will get this college, that college, this much marks, that much marks. And in the meanwhile, you are losing your time. And at the end, you basically result in losing 20, 30 questions. You are not able to see them. So don't get in overconfidence during the exam okay next not reading the instructions carefully is again a big mistake you can do your name filling your roll number your any detail which is filled in the omr sheet should be filled with utmost care ask the invigilator that sir i'm not able to understand this ma'am i'm not able to understand how to fill this please tell you have the right to ask whatever details are filled, you have the right to ask how to fill it. In your question paper also, every instruction is given how to fill the answer sheet. If you are confused, ask the invigilator, but don't fill it wrong. One mistake can result in entire answer sheet mistake because it is OMR filling, it's not subjective exam. So read instructions carefully. Okay, next. Use graphs and diagrams whenever you are confused in solving a maths problem. Now, maths problems sometimes are too imaginative. A triangle is looking like this, a parallelogram is like this, or the determinant is like this. So, it becomes difficult to imagine. So, draw diagrams and graphs wherever required. They will help you basically uh, go into the correct direction. Okay. Next, avoid too much of shortcuts. Now, of course, some shortcut tricks, even I tell you lots of shortcut tricks, they are very, very helpful. But in some situations, what we tend to do is using the shortcuts, we uh, forget about options. So, just I gave you an example of maxima minima. So, when we are finding out maxima minima, we need to find f double dash of x, second order derivative. Now, in the options, if undefined, does not exist, minima is not there, such options are not there. We don't need to check f double dash of x, the second order derivative. But if such options are there, we need to check second order derivative. So what we tend to do in overconfidence to apply shortcut, we don't find second order derivative. We just find first order derivative. We find x, we put the value and get maxima and minima. But maybe the maxima is actually minima and the minima is actually maxima point. So mistakes can happen using these shortcuts. So shortcuts are good, but not everywhere. Okay. Practice previous year question papers. Again and again and again, I have told you so many times. I have made you practice so many times. In all my sessions, you will see lots of PYQs. Why? Because until and unless we practice ourselves, we never realize we will be able to complete the paper on time. We never realize what kind of mistakes we can do. We never realize what kind of questions actually come and why is that important? Suppose you have a mindset that KEEM exam is medium level exam, easy level exam, hard questions don't come. Now suppose this year they give hard questions, they give a little medium to high level question. Then you will lose the entire confidence. If you don't, uh, basically, if you don't know the first five questions, 
all the confidence will be gone and you will be like ah, i never knew that these type of questions will come so we don't want that we want confidence because confidence will definitely give you five extra marks and under confidence will definitely lose your 10 marks so practice previous year question paper at what time every day you practice previous year question exactly at the time of your keem exam that will help channelize your brain so your brain will think that okay in the afternoon i don't have to sleep because on 17th of may i have to give keem exam i have to practice question so practice previous year question papers in afternoon don't sleep at that time because your keem exam will be in afternoon right next use the right formula of course revise all the formulas use the right ones if you use use the wrong formula you will get the wrong answer so that's like an obvious mistake possible right check for negative marking now you all know a keem exam has negative marking for wrong answers so please don't go too much for guessing i have told you if you are getting 300 plus don't guess any question at all if you are getting less than 300 be very conscious of your choice if you are getting 250 plus just guess few very few questions if you are getting 200 or less than 200 then maybe you can try guessing more number of question which you are sure of questions which you don't know at all no need to guess them no need to put negative marking because remember negative marking is not minus 1 it's minus 5 because you count it as plus 4 but you get minus 1 so it is loss of 5 marks okay next be confident and stay focused in your exam because if you are confident if you have belief in yourself you will be able to solve much more questions much more clearly all right so manage time effectively if you waste time at the beginning at the middle or at the end it is going to lose a lot of questions a lot of marks so manage your time effectively practice a pyq take a sample paper take a pyq do complete it in 2.5 hours it will give you an idea how many questions in how much time should be completed in your final exam okay lastly review your answers now in keem exam i will not advise to review all the answers all the questions no we will not do review like that how we will do review you know suppose you are solving a question always do it step by step suppose in matrix you are finding out determinant so in the first step you cross check all the values are correctly written here or not in the second step you cross check once you open the bracket the values are written correctly or not if you cross check like this you will not do any mistakes if you think that i will solve complete question at the end i will check complete question that all the steps are right and in one side i'll oh this was wrong again i will have to do it so that is wastage of time so what i will advise is in the lengthy questions which has lots of calculations do it step by step check it will save your time okay so guys keem is a challenging exam and you need to prepare by practicing understanding the concepts managing your time and avoiding the common mistakes which i have told today so don't worry don't stress out be confident have faith in yourself have faith in vedantu malayalam channel and we are here to support you in every way possible that you require so any help any advice any tips that you need ask us in the comment section we will bring it for you all right all the best for your exams kids I'm Sana Khan your maths master teacher signing off see you tomorrow with another interesting amazing lecture and study tip till then take care and very soon we will also bring for you the formula cheat sheet as well thank you for subscribing see you tomorrow bye bye